Okay, today we're going to learn how to take the Laplace transform of a sine function. So we are given f of s and f of t. To find f of s, which is the Laplace transform, let's just input sine omega t into the definition given. So it's the integral of 0 to infinity sine omega t u of t times e to the negative st dt. We know that u of t is equal to 0 for t is less than 0 and 1 t is greater than 0. Since the integral is limited by 0 and infinity, u of t will equal 1 within these limits. So let's rewrite this. It's the integral of 0 to infinity sine omega t e to the negative st dt. I gave you the identity for sine theta up at the top. So theta will equal to omega t. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity, 1 over 2j e to the j omega t minus e to the power negative j omega t times e to the negative st dt. We know that e to the power of a times e to the power of b is simply just e to the power of a plus b. So let's combine these exponentials. It's the integral of 0 to infinity, 1 over 2j, e to the power of t times j omega minus s minus e to the power of t times negative j omega minus s dt. To evaluate this integral, we know that e to the power of a constant times time dt is just 1 over the constant times e to the power of the constant times time. So this is equal to 1 over 2j times 1 over j omega minus s times e to the power of t times j omega minus s minus 1 over negative j omega minus s times e to the power of t times negative j omega minus s evaluated from 0 to infinity. We have to assume that the real part of the of the complex number is greater than the imaginary part. So when we evaluate for infinity, this will equal 1 over 2j times 1 over j omega minus s e to the negative infinity since s is a negative value minus 1 over negative j omega minus s e to the power of negative infinity. For 0, we'll subtract 1 over j omega minus s e to the 0 minus 1 over negative j omega minus s e to the 0. e to the negative infinity is equal to 0 for both of these, and e to the power of 0 is equal to 1 for both of these. So our final answer will be negative 1 over 2j times 1 
over j omega minus s plus 1 over j omega plus s. So to get the common denominator, let's multiply the top and bottom by the opposite denominator. So this will equal 1 over 2j times j omega plus s minus plus j omega minus s all over j omega squared minus s squared j squared is equal to negative 1 so we can say this is equivalent to negative 1 over 2j times 2j omega over negative omega squared minus s squared. We can cross out the top and bottom for the negatives and the top and bottom for 2j. So our final answer will be omega over s squared plus omega squared. And that's the Laplace transform of a sine function.